<laughs> uh, while, while we're on Scorsese real quick, what was your direction in that movie? Meaning, what's the... Sebastian's in The Irishman and is very funny and very... It's a broad perform. It's like when you entered, I laughed out loud when I was watching it because <laughs> somebody, somebody, I'm not going to say who said it. Someone said, and Sebastian Maniscalco as himself, <laughs> which I don't <laughs> agree with because you play like a, like a Frankie Valley kind of like sunglasses and so- like you move. Were you, did you try it out before you did it on camera? Did you guys rehearse? What did you discuss with him before the first take? There was no discussion. So you just, that was the first scene, your entrance? The first, did they shoot it in order? No, the first scene was me, De Niro, and Pesci at the Copacabana where I come up to him and, and I'm flicking uh, Joe Pesci. He's like, I, me, me, and, me and Pesci get into okay. a little something right. and then yeah. De Niro and I, he pulls me aside. Yeah. So that was like the first day of shooting. And then De Niro, they said cut, Scorsese came out. De Niro, Pesci, Scorsese got in a huddle and started to talk. And I was over here with the with the, the bodyguard I was with in the scene. And I'm thinking, that's it. Yeah, that'll it's do over. It. <laughs> they're telling, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're, they're getting rid of me. Because I was, I mean, I was extremely nervous working It's with weirdly a good first scene, though, to because you're not, you can't be nervous and you are the you you're they're seated right yeah yeah and you're standing already good yeah that's, for you it's nice that and then down. you're flicking shit <laughs> well Catherine narducci who was in the scene playing uh, joe pesci's wife had come to me in the middle of the, all that and said man joe's getting kind of upset that you're flicking his lapel like not not in the scene i think he was getting upset you know yeah which was good for his character but yeah i'm like oh shit should you know should i pull back on it no no just keep keep doing it so yeah the acting world for me is very new I, yeah a lot of these things i haven't really seen before so that was a a lesson and that's also in, the in, hardest it's gonna be yeah i mean you're not gonna like get it's it. you that's the most scared you're ever gonna be yeah and um, i and i and i keep that in the back of my head when i go into other things going all right i already did the scariest thing you could possibly yeah, do for an so. italian <laughs> <laughs> you you're it's mount vesuvius i would say olympus but i went uh, to italy <laughs> um what did they when they came out of the huddle were they even talking about you no they just said you know we'll do it again you know i think they were just kind of maybe discussing things on their part that yeah these guys have been working together yeah, yeah, for of 40 years so um yeah i mean not not a lot of direction um from Scorsese he would come out and there was a point where um I was in the Copacabana and Don Rickles was on stage uh, Norton played yeah, Rickles yeah. and when I got up to throw the champagne bottle where I was going to I had some direction on how to do that or right. w- what but uh and in the court scene when I came in you know with the glasses on Scorsese had kind of directed me when I was sitting at the table with the craps the crap but wine. that entrance I mean, what do you want? I love the entrance for myself because I've always wanted to be in a movie with sunglasses on. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking quit. Don't do it. Literally don't do another one. That's that was for me was like the pinnacle of success. If I could just it's the pin I laughed out loud. It's like why are you are you laughing because I'm laughing out loud because I know you and I quit I knew you were in the movie and then I'm like, did you stop doing the joke? Because I kind of stole it in my special. Oh, great. Um, not exactly. <laughs> the thing where you're at a club and you're d- and the girl goes in the club goes, you're hilarious. And you go, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you do it? It was like that sunglass performance was that joke to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Like I, so I do a joke where I'm like, guys are hilarious, but I don't, it's whatever. That's it. That's the, that's, uh, that's the crossover. Yeah. Uh, the acknowledgement that men are. No, funny. that's a good, that's a good parallel. That, that, that joke could be put in yeah, that Yeah. It's movie. like, that, that's that character. Yeah. It'd be like, that joke. If it was a character, like, well, this guy was a cocky guy. It he, was a real guy. Yeah. 
So, Got it. so he, you know, I talked to a few people who kind of were around him during that time and said this guy was, you know, he owned a tiger in his basement. <laughs> he was like a, he, you know, yeah. he, he hired uh, uh, black people to work with him, which back then, yeah, and I'm, the mob was you couldn't you couldn't do that. He was going against all rules. Right. He killed a mob. You know, he put a hit on a Colombo. So yeah, there, there was a lot of things that he was doing that were really out of the box. So. Yeah, so hence the entrance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>